Hello and welcome! In this tutorial we're gonna look at some Python native list functions and then we're gonna apply several of those to basically modify the factorization program to produce a list of prime numbers. So first of all let's have a look at this little resource that's included with the lesson. Um, here's a, a number of uh, functions that you can use. So we've got two lists, numbers and letters. Um, this one right here gives you the length, how many members in a list. This one gives you the highest number. Min gives you the lowest. I mean, if it's, uh, if it's words, then it'll just give you the, um, the one with the Z in it or the last one in alphabetic order and the max will give you the first one. Um, some adds up all of the elements in the list it only works for numbers sorted basically lines and permanently changes um, the list into a sorted order so this was kind of random numbers and this is arranged in order these are just a recap of what we've learned but that's all pretty important that you can access elements in the list array Basically, this is how you access the very last element, and this is how you make the list from so third element onwards to everything else. Um, numbers that append, numbers that extend, these are worth looking into. In fact, maybe I'll just recreate this really quickly. So we got some numbers, and we got some letters. So if I write numbers, there's the list. Now if I write numbers dot append, da, 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 and I can add 33. So there's a brand new forever changed list of numbers that's right there and it has 33 added to it. It's a permanent change. Numbers that extend actually adds two lists together you could have done numbers plus letters so but this is another way to do it numbers dot extend letters so you can add a whole list there and now the numbers is been extended with these letters <laughs> pop is actually quite interesting and useful it, it's sort of like a stack so if you can if you write numbers dot pop it will return the very last element in numbers. It'll say, hey, C. And now numbers is forever it's changed. It doesn't have that C. And if you do numbers that pop again, I think it'll just return B, and the new numbers is not gonna have B anymore. And finally, you can insert into any position. So you can say numbers.insert. And first you say at which position. So if I want to insert something, I don't know, here, that would be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. In the fourth position, I can insert anything. Ha. Huh. And now if I write numbers, anything, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's actually the fifth position. Um, but it's index 4. So in the index 4, which is the fifth position, this is what I've inserted. So that is that list. Now, let's get to some fun application. Here is a program you're very familiar with. Essentially, if we run it, you'll see what it does. You give it a number to factorize 50. It gives you the factors. But if you were to give it a prime number like 19 it'll actually say hey these are factors 19 is a prime number so we would like to modify this to produce a list of prime numbers lower than a maximum so we can at the start say um, enter the upper limit and we can have ourselves a variable limit here limit int limit so we are going to do this for all the numbers up to that limit. So you see how there's this num here? We can now have four num in range. Since number one isn't a prime, we can sort of take it out of consideration and run this all the way up to the limit. Running it up to the limit when you include the limit means going limit plus one. 
So what this is going to do, and I'm just going to try it for something low, like 5. Um, this should basically factorize all numbers up to 5. So if we say that, I didn't actually enter a number. Hmm. F5, enter a number 5. So it does it for um, 2, it does it for 3, it does it for 4, and it does it for 5. So we can remove this factor prime number business. And in this position, in this position, if the counter equals to 2, this is where we can add prime numbers to a list. So we can call this list primes and make that list. And remember, to add to primes, we use the append. So um, in when a number is primes, we can primes dot append num. And believe it or not, that could work. So of course, nothing's happened there because we're not printing it. But the primes is right there. It's actually added all the prime numbers up to that limit 5 in there. So what we can do is print primes and try this out on a larger number. F5, come on. 100. Yep, as far as I can tell, that's certainly correct. No non-prime numbers. Let's strive even bigger. Thousand. But you'll notice, I'm sure that we can find a number where this actually takes some time. And now that wasn't very hard. So there you go. That took some time. Now, it's often a coding exercise at university um, in terms of algorithms. How do you make this algorithm more efficient? How do you make it faster? Um, and some of the ways to do it is to only consider odd numbers and not to count all the factors. The second is that one factor you can break out of this loop and then continue the process. There's also the element of actually taking all possible primes and instead of adding to that list, you just take all the numbers and then you subtract. So you take all the odd numbers and you subtract everyone that has some factors. So that's all for this tutorial. Um, just to recap, we have had a look at a list of some string functions in Python and we have applied those, particularly append, to create uh, an edited factorization program which now produces lists of prime numbers up to a limit. Okay, see you in the next tutorial. Hi there, my name is Sanyan. I am the creator of this channel here. Um, if you're loving these videos, be sure to subscribe. That button's gonna be right there. And do the like thing, you know, that's nice too. Um, the playlist for this Python Fundamentals course is right here for you to access it. And on my other side should be a playlist of all my Python videos. So enjoy that and see you guys later.